Hey everybody, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be spreading some stone. We're going to check in on Dirt Perfect at the shop. Doing a little trailer maintenance so we can then haul the Volvo 140 out to a new job site. Then we're going to go pick up the D4G and we are going to try and recreate the events of how we lost the GoPro 7 Black. Let's see if we can't narrow down exactly where it's at. So we are starting off in the C8500 GMC Tandem Axle Dump Truck. It is Dirt Perfect's truck, you guys all know that. We're going to pick up a load of Indiana 7s, and we're going to actually do a split load. One load, two different locations. So we'll catch up with you in just a little bit after we get loaded. super random thing here but i don't know if you guys can see i'm gonna try to point to it there's a fox walking that rim right there i thought that was kind of cool so i threw it in here randomly all right so we're at a uh, this is the rental cabin along the ohio river there's the ohio river you can kind of see it through the trees here kind of foggy this morning he owns several cabins along the river here so one crazy thing this rock here that used to be an overhang up there and uh, it fell last year maybe a year and a half ago that over, whole overhang collapsed, and Mike, aka Dirt Perfect, actually has an awesome video coming up, and if you follow his Instagram or his Facebook, you've probably already seen pictures. But they came in with the track home and dug a bunch of those rocks out of that uh, collapse and took them over to one of the other cabins and made a really awesome retaining wall out of it. It's beautiful, it turned out really nice. So he's gonna have a really good video of that upcoming in the future. So be sure to stay tuned to his page, check that out, but, See this dumpster here? He wants, I don't know, let's just call it a third of that load spread out in front of that dumpster right here. So we're just gonna set you on a tripod and see how the split load turns out. So if you're in the business, you know how this works, but just in case you don't, these are called spreading chains. They're welded to the box, they're welded to the tailgates, and you can count your links to get them even. There's one on both sides, and they determine how far open your gate will actually open once you release the locks that kind of determines how thick the stone is going to go it also there's a few other factors like speed and incline and how high you have your box and the material itself but in general that's what they're called spreading chains and that's kind of the basic principle and we'll leave a little pile kind of close to the dumpster at the beginning so i can shovel underneath and then we'll get the rest spread out So it spread out there okay, but I was not super excited about my shovel choice. This was kind of a poor choice. I probably probably should have brought a rake with me, but that's okay. We'll get it done. How many of you guys were screaming at me to open my tarp, huh? Where were you guys at on that one? You weren't screaming loud enough. I didn't hear you. Doesn't matter though. All right, let's see what we got in here. Ugh. 
I'd say that's probably about right. Let's go spread the other part, and if we got any left over, we'll come back. So the only problem with split load, or the biggest problem, is this here. It's hard to get your tailgate shut to go back down the road. It's not a big deal though. Looks like most of it came out okay. We'll just get that little shovel, clean that out, get her shut down, go to the next spot. turned around here, head on down to the next job site where we'll spread the rest of this load out. On this one he just wants to uh, this is another rental cabin by the way and it is listen I don't think you might as well be upset if I just give you a quick view of what we're dealing with here and it is gorgeous back here and I don't know if you can see but that's oil creek down there uh, oil creeks navigable all the way to the uh, Ohio River from here and it is just it's a beautiful property beautiful rental cabin anywho he just wants me to start there whatever I got left run up the driveway and that should be fine there's nothing let's see Nothing overhead, you should catch the box. Pretty solid drive. Let's see what happens. So that's what we ended up with. His main area he wanted was uh, some in the front. I think he's got somebody come down and kind of rake it out just to freshen things up in front of the front porch. And if we had any left over, up the drive as far as it would kind of feather its way out. We ended up, I don't know, was that halfway, five eighths of the way up. So I think that'll be fine. I took some pictures. I'm gonna send him some pictures, make sure he's happy with it. We're gonna head up to the shop, see if that uh, little boy trailer's ready to go so we can haul some more equipment. So they're up at the shop and a few people point this out in the videos and that's what they've been working on this morning matt and a man behind the scenes has been working on this but this deck board came loose a little while ago but they've got it uh looks like they've got it all fastened down pretty good so that'll be nice for us got something going on here i'm guessing it has something to do with this 
We got something going on under here, too. I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. I'm just a part-time driver that gives mechanics work. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. That looks hard. Is that hard? I've seen this hard. YouTube channel this one time. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. This guy riding this, uh, I think he thought the tire was like a mechanical bull. Was he doing it right? Well, he didn't make it the full eight seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. I'm not very good at this. I'm telling you, it still looks hard. You're still doing a heck of a job, I gotta tell you, but check this out. Look at this. And I know, <laughs> I know it was man behind the scenes that is smart enough no, to come up with who this. Made the phone calls for it? Who got the key? And who? Who locked the key in the last stop? We don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. Old Dirt Perfect also picked us up a brand new oversized load banner. The other ones get a little faded, a little tattered, so we got some new one to put on the stakes, so that's nice. This is the bottom side of the ramp there, working on a blown hose. And that that just dropped is the transport lock. I've had people ask if there's a transport lock. There is, that's it right there. That way the weight of the dovetail sits on that transport lock instead of those hydraulic cylinders, so it can't really bleed off while you're driving down the road. So we're gonna head to the top of the driveway. Dirt Perfect's gonna walk the Volvo 140 up for us. We're gonna get this thing loaded up and headed out to a job. He's going in the shop. I think just some regular service, I believe. And the other bucket we need is behind that truck. He's gonna move that truck. I'm gonna hop in the track hall. Then we're gonna. You guys know what we're doing. We're getting stuff loaded. All right. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Oh wait. I feel like he's gonna want this. I don't know. You guys tell me. Should I just keep this? This controls his YouTube page. This controls his YouTube. This is it. The power. The power. if I really want it or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Here we go. So when I hauled the John Deere 120 for him, almost all of the attachments he had just kind of slid between the tracks, including the smaller bucket like this one. Apparently they don't fit under here. Uh, I now know for the future, I'll load this bucket a little bit differently, but for the time being today, I'm just gonna set it back on the dovetail, throw a couple chains on it and be done with it.
Good news is we're in the right spot. So we're gonna get uh, chained. Nope, that's what we already are. We're gonna get unchained and we're just gonna offload on the road here. Plenty wide for traffic to get by, so that should be fine. Time lapse you. So we are unloaded, obviously, no track, we'll see how that works. We're gonna back out there and we'll throw you up there so you can watch my average backing skills. We'll call it that, average at best. But then we're gonna pick up the D4G, which is exciting. If you guys remember, I lost my GoPro Hero 7 Black all in the D4G to this exact same job, which means we're gonna set up an experiment and see if we can narrow down where we lost that camera at. I'll tell you a little bit more about it once we get out of here. I just want to come out and look. I couldn't remember exactly what this section looks like. Should have plenty of room. Okay. So we're getting ready to pick up the D4G, and uh, there you'll see the homeowner's gonna run up here in just a second. There's a trash can there, and uh, I typically get out and move it. In fact, there, I was getting ready to, and I saw the homeowner come running across. He was doing some yard work outside, so he ran up and grabbed the trash can for me real quick, which is super nice, so I can get her tucked off the side of the driveway. We're gonna get this D4G loaded up, and then we're gonna head to where we lost the GoPro. There's a job on that road. We're taking it to the same job, and we're gonna try to recreate what happened and see if we can better pin down where it might have gotten knocked off at for a future search. So if you're new to the channel or you just need a refresher, we do have these little things that they're perfect made. They slide in these slots onto the trailer, and you can see the trailers on a little bit of an incline there, a little bit of a side lean. And dozers, well, any tracked material with metal tracks, they like to slide sometimes. Now it is a dry day, but it is metal coming across the axles there. Metal on metal is kind of like running on ice. So he has these little things you slip in. It's just a little bit of insurance to keep us from sliding off. It's not 100% foolproof, but it definitely helps. We got that thing loaded up. I'm just gonna pull out on the road get chained down on the road and then we're going to head off to where we lost the GoPro. So you're up here on the seven white the safety cable. There's only 10% on that battery. That's bad planning on my fault. I'm gonna put you guys up there looking back to see if we can see when it falls off both directions. Hopefully we'll get it when it actually hits. Unless of course the battery dies. And then uh, hopefully we'll be able to see it on this camera from up here. We'll try it. 
All right, so we're getting started out here. We're gonna switch back and forth between these two views. We'll even do a little picture in picture, but this is actually the opposite direction of what I was going when I lost the camera. But I wanted to run it both ways just to see if there's anything to actually make contact. And there you go, sure enough there was, but that is actually after where I noticed I had lost it. So I don't think that was the branch that did it. I did finish running out this view, even though it's a little messed up because we did already knock the camera a little off the mount with that first branch, but I was just curious and in fact, on this side, we really didn't hit anything. There was one branch that kind of brushed it, that one right there. But other than that, there wasn't a lot on this section of the road that made contact with the camera itself. Now, we're going to go down the other side, get turned around, and come back. But before we do, I think you're going to notice, I do hit a series of branches, and I think they might be the culprit. So I'm going to play this from two different angles. But I hit three branches in a row here, and they're all pretty solid hits. So I'm going to slow this down, but I think this is the one that's going to do it. It is by far the lowest, this one right here. This one is by far the lowest, and it actually looks like it's an actual stick and not leaves that makes contact there. We're going to go turn around, come back the other way, and see if we can get a different shot on it. So we're coming back the other way, and these are the first branches we're going to come to, the ones we were just talking about. That's a pretty hard hit, and then it hits again hard enough to actually take the leaf off. So I think that kind of pinpoints where I want to look for that. Now this is just a pretty hard pull, so I thought I'd throw this in here because I just love the way this truck sounds. Well, we did have one more hard hit coming this direction right there. So I think I have two good targeted spots for an updated search in the near future. I don't know where you guys are at. You are up there. This is what I said last time, but I had a safety cable on you this time. So I didn't know where you're at. Master is off. I always put turning the master off on camera because I've been accused many a time of turning or not turning the master off and the reason for dead batteries. So uh, I always throw turn the master off on video. That way we've got proof that it happened. All right, so we just dropped the dozer off there. Last thing of the day, last tricky thing is we got to head up that hill. It doesn't look bad here, but right around that corner is a hard 90. It gets real steep. It's real washboarded out. It's dry. It's powdery. It's a pain in the butt. I was talking to Mike this morning. We dropped the dozer off several times here before, and we've done a lot of work for this property owner, or Mike's done a lot of work for this property owner. And I said, well, what do you do? How do you get up around it? And he says, you back all the way down. You go as fast as you can safely. Carries much momentum around that corner. Pick a low gear, and you just got to go slow and then bounce through it. Um, that's the technique I've always used, but it bounces so hard. I'm just always convinced something's gonna break on the truck But unfortunately, you know, we kind of talked about it. That's just the way this road is. It's just a crappy road It's just a tough job site to get to 
So we're gonna put you somewhere. Well, first we need to back down this road and then I'll put you somewhere on the side and hopefully you don't bounce off. I said that is a tricky curve and there is video evidence of me not making that curve before it was a long 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 time ago i'm gonna say six years ago it's a very old video before i understood what youtube was but if you look hard enough there's definitely video evidence of me not making that curve in the past but we did get up it we made it to the pavement we're gonna head back to the shop and then i think we're gonna close this thing out we'll turn this thing over to real life mike real quick all right so we got the truck parked over there all in all Pretty good day, pretty excited to uh, look at this footage. Of course, we've already looked at it on the video, but in real life, I haven't looked at it yet, so I'm pretty excited to look at the footage and see if I can figure out exactly which branch it was that took it off. One thing I wanna point out real quick, uh, earlier in the video, we showed that Fox, there's all kinds of wildlife around here. In fact, just spotted these deer tracks. <laughs> that's too much. Anyway, that's it, I'm headed down, walking to the car, go on shift tomorrow, just coming off of the four day, just came back from Chattanooga, Tennessee, actually. I don't know if anybody's ever been down there, but uh, I've got a little extra footage. I don't know if it's gonna be on this video or the next video, but uh, we just went down to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and uh, it was a really good time. Anyway, I'm rambling. I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. I just wanna say, thanks for watching, and you guys know the drill. We'll catch you on the next one.